Hey, this is Craig. I'm back. I got a lot of comments on the video I posted a couple hours ago. Apparently, people are interested in a little bit more investigation on the performance of this camera, particularly looking at field of view, as well as uh, using a tilted angle of your board to look down the side of an integrated circuit to look for solder bridges underneath the part. So I found some boards that have some fine pitch uh, parts, and we will go ahead and look at that there. And I'm going to point my video camera at the monitor because it seemed to work pretty well last video. And I'm going to get that set up a little bit different only because that's the way you would do board inspection with this camera. I'm not going to record on the SD card a video and then, and then edit that in. We're going to actually look at the presentation that, you're, that you see on the 1080p monitor. And also I got a comment about that ruler. So uh, there are several different kind of rulers like that. I know Adafruit has one, uh, probably Seed Studio has one, IT might have one, I don't know. Uh, a lot of manufacturers will have those. Like here's the IT uh, uh, ruler. It's not really a ruler, it's a business card. And it tells a little, talk, talks a little bit about their service and it gives an example of the quality of the traces. And it looks like these small traces here will go down to six millimeter six mil okay so so uh they kind of show you that so that that one's there and here's the one i got from spark fun this basically shows you about hole diameter as well as some some uh, uh, package components and the footprints for those i have the digikey one because uh i ordered some stuff probably about four years ago and that just happened to come in the box that's how i ended up with that i don't know if you can buy that anymore but it sure is handy to look at the comparison of sizes and, and kind of figure out, you know, what's the size difference between like a SOT 323 and a 523. So let's go back over to the bench, uh, turn the camera back on, and I'll show you what it is to do uh, some additional things that I didn't show you in the last video. All right, this is my best guess about how I'd set this up. So I think I would put the camera up about like this. See if I can get this set up for you so it doesn't... Yeah, that's good. And then what I would do is you... Uh, so what I got on these... I got two boards here. Uh, this one is a Nucleo F103. So this is a probably a 68-pin uh, arm. It's a STM32. And then I have um, one of these uh, PSOC 5 evaluation boards. These are QFN parts. And so we'll take a look at both the ICs on here as well as this, um, this, this, uh, I guess that's a QF, uh, QFP on this one. Okay. So the way you're going to end up doing this is you get the board, uh, somewhere near and you're going to do your focusing by changing the, the, uh, the distance between the camera, uh, between your board going up and down. So this is kind of what this would look like And these boards have been sitting around as well in my lab. And so they're pretty dirty which you can kind of see right there. Um, if I can hold this with one hand, you can kind of see right here. <laughs> it's almost impossible to do that. There's some hair in there. Let me just have to use two hands, get this hair out of here. Okay. So from a, from a board perspective, it's fairly easy to, to get this to be in focus, but you can see the depth of field right there is not very, not very much, uh, at all. But you can definitely see under the part and you can see, you know, like say, say I turn it a little bit and then we kind of get it back and forth, you know. So across the, this chip, you actually are in focus and you can kind of see what the angle of the board is, which is fine. This is pretty good. Now I could actually get closer if I got up about like this and change this focus, I could actually get in a little closer. But it's it's uh, the closer you get the can the board to the camera, the harder it is to keep the image still because you have to be very um, you're gonna have to be pretty precise. But I wouldn't say you want to get any closer than this. But you can definitely see back in there. So from a quick uh, board pers uh, inspection perspective. This actually looks pretty good. All right, we'll look at this other part. This one is a, this also is a, uh, this is the, um, the programmer part up here that's in the ST-Link. 
and this is also an STM32, but this is a different smaller package. So you can pretty much see it's it's fairly easy to get it in, to be in focus uh, just by kind of holding it up there. And if you, you know, you don't drink a lot of coffee, you can probably get this to go pretty well as well, you know, get pretty used to this. Yeah, there's some little threads right there. You can kind of see those. All right, so that's the uh, QFP part. So these are these are the QFN parts. Um, it's like I said, it's a PSOC 5 LP. And uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so here it is here. This board's even dirtier. I apologize for these boards, you know, they're just kind of sitting around. When you pull your boards out of a reflow oven, they wouldn't have this much crap on them. But you can kind of see about if there's any bridges here. Now, if you had this fixtured up, you know, if you build a little fixture and 3D printed it to kind of slap your boards in, it'd be a lot easier to, to do this because you wouldn't be so shaky. The other thing I could do is move down here. Let's Let's do that. Let's move the camera down here like this, because then my hands can be resting on the table, not out in free space. Okay, so now my hands are resting on the table. Now let me find that part again, wherever it ended up going. Oh, my camera rotated a little bit. Okay, here we go. All right, where are we? Oh, here's the part. Okay, so. Yeah, this is a little easier if you get that thing down there because then you can hold it a lot, lot steadier. Yeah, this is a much better approach to doing it. So that looks pretty good. Let's look at the other IC on here. The other IC is, uh, you know, I think it's it's probably the same family. But uh, this PSOC eval kit has a JTAG programmer on the one side instead of the, the uh, STM programmer, or the ST-Link. So it's fairly easy to do. Um, I hope this answers your questions. I know that a lot of people are chiming in that they actually use a, you know, they use stereo microscopes. I've used those in the past at previous companies as well. Uh, they are kind of a luxury. They took up a lot of space on my bench because I had one of those sliding arm ones. And uh, like uh, the unexpected maker said, the camera on it, mine, mine was also crappy. The, the uh, the optics on it were excellent. I was uh, able to fix a lot of parts uh, that I'd hand soldered on, not being able to see underneath the part, but I, I was able to do a pretty good board inspection with that microscope. And you do get used to looking through the microscope, but if you're just doing quickies, you know, this is, this is pretty nice. If you're just looking for something quick, I mean, it powers up fine. The camera comes on rather, you know, it takes it probably about 20 seconds to boot. So it's probably running some version of embedded Linux. Uh, and eventually it comes on and the uh, monitor will turn on by itself. Well, it looks like I really got a dirty lab. There's a lot of dust in here. Uh, but you did get to see a little bit uh, better perspective of doing um, tilted boards, not just like flat like I did in the first video. And you can actually look under the IC pins and look for solder bridges back there. And depending on how you set up your camera, you got to see that I had a really hard time keeping the, the board uh, steady uh, at that particular magnification. But as I moved it down, I was able to hold it because my hands were now on the table. And it's pretty fast to get that to be in focus. You just kind of set where you want your focus to be. And then you, you know, you move the board up and down until you get it in focus. Um, so I'd like to thank everyone for watching the, the first part of this and as well as this one. And if you have any additional questions, I'll go ahead and leave the camera set up here. And if you got any other quickies, I'll go ahead and fire it up and, uh, you know, kind of answer your questions. So that's... Uh, that's where we are. It's getting pretty late here. I'm going to go and post this and uh, y'all have a good evening and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.